All right, y'all, so I am back with another video. This is gonna be a little different of a video, so this is gonna be more so talking about um, just how I help skinny fat men specifically gain at least 10 pounds of lean muscle while losing 10% of body fat in 90 days or less using what I like to call the Jack Protocol. Obviously, I would create it with that name. Um, so this is without losing your gains again. Um, so not rebounding, um, spending more than an hour at the gym or giving up your favorite foods. So as you can see, I showed like a quick transition of one of the clients that I have that I'll, I'll kind of go through the breakdown of how I did it with him. Um, but a lot of things that people don't like to show is the last part where you can see like even the style changed. Um, and everything just transformed just just by just the aesthetics being different, right? So there's a lot that goes into this transformation. It's really just you being like a 2.0 version of yourself. And being Jack does not mean like you look like a bodybuilder or you're like this big, like walking muscle, whatever. Like this is literally you being the best version of yourself. That's my definition of being Jack. So getting to the closest to your genetic potential that you can get to or on the way to becoming that, right? It's a mentality. It's also a perspective. So just as a heads up so you understand that part of everything. So before we get into it, um, I do want to tell you a little bit about myself. So my name is Martel, and I'm going to show you pretty much exactly how I got my client Hari to lose 21 pounds in 90 days um, while still being able to go out with his friends and enjoying life. So before we begin, I did want to show you what he looked like before and after the Jack Protocol. So on the image on the left side, um, the two images are basically him at 228, almost teetering to 230 at some times. And then the image on the right is him at 207, right? And actually he dropped down a bit more, um, a little bit after, but I wanted to give it the specific date to where he got to 207, because that was our goal. And we did reach that goal. He did hit under 200 at a certain point in time in the continuation of the program. But during this time period, this is where he got to. So who is this for specifically, right? So this is for if you are looking to lose at least 20 pounds of fat and never gain it back while also gaining a ton of muscle um, that you'll be able to keep for the rest of your life, this is specifically for you. If you're tired of guessing your way to getting Jack from endless amounts of confusing videos um, and you want like an easy to follow and proven roadmap that works specifically for you, so no cookie cutter nonsense, like we don't do that, right? This is specifically for you. Um, if you feel like you've tried every piece of advice and method, but still don't have the physique that you have always dreamed of, this is also for you. And if you, wow, I'm spelling things incorrectly, I guess, but if you have the desire and potential to become the best version of yourself, but you need the accountability and guidance to get you there, then this is also for you. Who this is not for. So this is not for someone who, you know, if you think, if you want to, you know, keep trying to get jacked using the conventional methods that are out there right now, chicken, rice, broccoli, four or five, six times a day, like doing like bro splits every single day, like, you know, just the traditional things that people see on the internet, right? Doing celebrity workouts, things like that, that are pretty much honestly ruining your progress and ruining your morale to where you don't even want to continue anymore. Instead of trying a new proven system that has actually worked for countless amounts of people, then this is not for you. Um, if you're not willing to put in at least four hours per week at the gym, which comes out to less than an hour a day at the gym, then this is also not for you. Um, if you're looking to get a get jacked quick fix, and don't want to use a proven approach to training that will actually keep you in fantastic shape for the rest of your life, then this is also not for you. And if you really just do not believe that you can get jacked or you're just like, oh, I don't really think that I have the ability to build muscle and, and lose the fat that I have and achieve that dream physique that you're, you're thinking of or you want, then this is also definitely not for you. You need to have self-belief. So getting jacked is actually easier than you think. However, no one will tell you the truth. You can get jacked without eating boring food, spending all day at the gym, all while never worrying about getting out of shape again. So it'll be a permanent state. And a majority of men are not capable of doing so because they either don't know how to train the correct way for the, po the best possible results that they want. Um, they don't know how to stick to a diet or really just a framework of nutrition, or they just don't understand nutrition overall. And the third, how to use the Jack protocol instead of trying another quick fix solution that makes it pretty much impossible to stay in shape for a long period of time. Yeah, you can be in a massive caloric deficit, 1,500 calories deficit, and think that you're going to lose weight very quickly. You may lose the weight, but you'll rebound fast because you'll always want to be able to go back to that comfortable state that you were in. It was never a lifestyle change. It was simply a prescription, not a framework. I will always talk about this in everything that I do. 
there are no excuses. And the fastest way or the there are no excuses and only the simplest way to gain tons of muscle fast. Right. So the excuses of I don't have time or I don't have genetics that doesn't exist. That's all in your mind. Right. These are all excuses that you make for yourself. You don't have to slave away at the gym um, for five hours a day or have crazy genetics to become, quote unquote, jacked. Again, this is a a perspective and this is also a just becoming the best version of yourself. You don't need to look like Chris Bumstead. None of that. Right. Getting jacked is literally just a way of life and a, a philosophy that I have. So you can do this without having those things. And so if you want to be that jacked guy, I'll show you exactly how to how to efficiently and effectively train at the gym for maximum muscle growth, how to eat the right foods for optimal growth, recovery, and health, how to lose at least 10% of your body weight and fat and gain at least, um, gain a lot of muscle at the same time. Yes, you can do both. You don't need to cut and then bulk. You can do both. Um, and then how to use a step-by-step -step jacked protocol to achieve a life-changing transformation for yourself. I'll show you how my client Hari finally could lose all of the weight that and packing on the lean muscle that he did and start to gain the respect from friends, family, and even strangers. He became a whole different person and people started coming up to him, asking him how he did it. And, you know, I even got some referrals for it. So it was pretty cool. Um, so I can teach you how to do all of this without being a social hermit. Right. So you, you can be out, you know, giving up your favorite foods or spending three hours per day at the gym, like a gym cell. You don't need to do that. You have higher aspirations for yourself. You have other things that you need to get done. You just need to go to the gym to be able to achieve the results that you want physically and also mentally. All right. So for those of you that don't know me specifically, um, here's my backstory. So I've been helping men from all walks of life get in the best shape of their life for six years. I started off as a skinny D3 basketball player at 165 pounds with a lack of confidence and a lowly aura that like, you know, when I went in the rooms, nobody really paid attention. Right. And then I turned into this 224 pound fitness model and tech entrepreneur. I've done a lot of different things. Um, and I'm passionate about helping men become the best versions of themselves physically to give them the fuel to elevate their mental, financial, social, and spiritual aspirations. Now, the conventional way of cutting and bulking and eating chicken, rice, and broccoli four to five, even six times a day is not sustainable, and it does not fit the man with outside aspirations, right? That's why I created the Jack Protocol. So what is the Jack Protocol? So it's a simple training blueprint I've developed through my own experience in the gym over the years, and it's designed to help any man gain at least 10 pounds of muscle while losing 10% or more of body fat in in 90 days or less. So this means that you don't have to give you don't have to give up your favorite foods like pizza, burgers, ice cream. Again, I know a lot of the the nerds and the the, the, the people who are super health conscious will say, oh, seed oils, this isn't that. Let's not be dorks today. Right. We, we like to eat ice cream and burgers and pizza every once in a while. We're human. So we can do that. Right. And also without gaining all of the muscle and then losing it later on. This is permanent. Right. You become a permanent, a permanent better version of yourself, right? Because you have the frameworks and you also have the lifestyle that is attached to this specific program. Um, and without being in the gym for more than four hours per week, right? So I wanna show you how it works. In the next few slides, I'll explain the full step-by-step -step process on what I did to achieve these kinds of results. Um, so you too can pack on at least 10 pounds of lean muscle and, um, lose at least 10% of your body fat, all in just 90 days or less. So the Jack protocol. So the Jack protocol consists of three essential phases, the metabolic foundations, hyperbolic um, hypertrophy, and then aesthetic ascension. And they're made up of three different guidelines. So phase one is metabolic foundation. So that's four weeks of full body training splits, um, three to four sets of eight to 12 reps. Um, for nutrition, we're going higher protein, higher fats, lower carbs. Um, and also, I didn't add this in, but cardio, right? So we do we do more high intensity cardio when it comes to the metabolic foundations, All right? Phase two is hyperbolic hypertrophy. This is where we focus more on. So phase one was actually more on fat loss um, while also building muscle, right? Because we could do both, but emphasizing the fat loss side of things um, for your total body. You can't spot lose fat, as you know, right? So you have to be able to cut it off completely like with, with everything, right? So it's not just like a small little part that you can remove fat from. You have to pretty much cut down your overall body fat. And that's how we do it with the full body training split um, with that high intensity training element to it, like circuit style training. 
Phase two, we have hyperbolic hypertrophy. So that's four weeks of the push pull training that I have. Sometimes I do upper lower, but I like the push pull and I add legs in. So like whatever push exercises for legs, I'll add that in for push day and you pull exercises for legs then I'll add that in um, for pull day. So that way we don't need to split it up into three days. We can split it up into two and then alternate between the two with the rest day in between each two. Um, and as well as progressive overload, right? So we're increasing the weight by five pounds every week. Um, and now we do three to four sets of 10 to 12 reps. So we've upped the, the lower reps from eight to 10, right? And the max is 12 for sure. You can go up to 15 if you want, but I like to stay at 12. That's a sweet spot. Um, and again, we do high protein, high fats, lower carbs. We lower the carbs even more. So we get into more of a depleted state. And then phase three is aesthetic ascension. This is where we do four weeks of high volume, um, training split. So really people call it the bro split. So we do three to four sets of 15 to 20 reps um, of each specific body part. This is more of like the, the, the sculpting phase where we're really just sculpting different parts of our body for the aesthetic look. We've already lost the fat. We've already built the muscle. It's time to really get the definition, right? So higher protein, lower fats, higher carbs. We want to be able to fill the body up with carbs again, because you were in a depleted state for the first two phases. We want to be able to just Fill the body up so that you can be more full and look even better, right? So that you don't look flat. And so the three simple guidelines you must follow is consistent training, optimal nutrition, and proper recovery. So consistent training, optimal nutrition, and proper recovery. Training more on the form, style, intensity, and cardio. So the form is more so time under tension. So you want to make sure that you have a like tempo that you're doing. So essentially it would be, let's say two seconds down for a lift if you're doing a bench press. So two seconds down and then one second up, right? So you really wanna be able to contract slowly, basically. So give yourself a certain amount of seconds that you wanna contract slowly to a specific lift where the resistance is. And then when you push back up, you're pushing back up with intensity, right? Lifting mechanics, making sure that your elbows are tucked in when you're doing pull-ups or if you're doing like um, lat pull downs, right? Latissimus dorsi pull downs. People got got a little upset because I said lateral pull downs in my last video. I just was talking off the cuff, but latissimus dorsi pull downs, whatever. Um, right. And so grip also, right? Make sure that you're gripping the weight as hard as you possibly can because that is going to help you as well with the intensity of everything. Um, the style, right? The sets, the reps, the exercise, the split that specifically works for you. And so, like I was saying with cardio, um, I like to add this with pretty much like twice a week with each workout. So that's high intensity treadmill sprints, total probably 10 minutes. You can also do the Stairmaster as well with this, but it's basically 20 seconds on full speed as much as you can on the treadmill and then 10 seconds off. You alternate that for about 10 rounds. You can also alternate that for 15 rounds if you want to as well. Um, nutrition, we talk about macros. So what are the specific macros for your goals? Meal timing, so when you should be eating. Um, meal selection, what kind of foods you should be eating, what you like, and then cheat meals, right? How do you incorporate that into what you need to do? Um, and then recovery, right? So rest days, specific supplements that you should be having, um, as well as sleep. So phase one, metabolic foundations, right? So this typically takes about 30 days, the full month. And so for the training side, we're going to focus on a medium weight. So we're not going lightweight. We're not going super heavyweight. We're going to stick with medium weight, right? And we're going to go 10 to 12 reps with three to four sets or rounds if we're doing circuit circuit based training, which I like to do with a lot of my clients, right? Circuit style training is multiple exercises in one set, more than two exercises, literally like four to five exercises. And you do it all in rounds. Think about it as like stations of different exercises. Um, and so you have lower rest periods to increase your heart rate and your cardiovascular um, strength as well. Um, and so we want to be able to basically find the baseline strength to progressively overload weekly. Right. So as you can see, his before and after on this was pretty cool. Um, lost a significant amount of fat off of this um, and started to see a tiny bit more definition than he usually does. Same thing, this is more just the front side. So this is the nutrition side we found is maintenance calories. Um, and so we put them in a 500 calorie deficit. So we're looking at 150 grams of carbs, 185 grams of protein and 80 grams of fat, right? So we took his lean body mass and we multiplied it by like 1.1. Um, to be able to get him the protein that he needed. So protein is not just 1.1 grams of protein multiplied by like your total weight. It's more so your lean body mass, right? So it's essentially like what you, um, what your weight is outside of water weight, outside of, you know, percentage of fat that you have 
um, it's really like skeletal weight, right? So it's more like lean muscle mass um, or lean body mass. So the second phase is the hyperbolic um, hypertrophy phase. And so similar to the first phase, what we did was we upped the weight into like more of the heavy side, medium heavy side. Um, we did eight to 12 reps. We had greater resting periods, um, 90 seconds. We did a push pull split routine and we increased the weight by five pounds um, as a more of a progressive overload per week. So he was getting significantly stronger um, and his waistline was getting a little bit slimmer as well, as you can see. And so he was really starting to fill out his frame and, and start to really see some progress muscular wise. Right. And so for the nutrition side, this is day 30 through 90. So we, we t I typically change things every month because his body was reacting so well to what I was having him do that, like, I genuinely just changed things like like little by little. So we increased his caloric intake by 138 calories specifically. We did this by decreasing the carbs. So we got him into more of a low carb state because his body was reacting very well to that. We increased his protein by 10 because he was gaining muscle. And then we increased his fats by 15 right grams. And so the thing that you have to understand about fats is that it's actually a longer sustaining um, source of energy. So it fats don't make you fat, right? What makes you fat is having excess amounts of um, simple carbs or carbs that you don't use or just overall macronutrients like that, that you don't use um, that basically get stored in the body because they're not being used. And so they become fat, right? So we cut down um, the carbs. And so we increase the fat so that he could have more energy throughout the day. He was also an entrepreneur, right? Um, and he could actually have a lot more, um, a, a lot better performance in the gym. Right. And then his, his protein, um, went up as well again, because he gained more muscle mass. We wanted to be able to feed the muscle with more protein as well. So that it could, it could recover faster. So next the last phase, we had the aesthetic ascension phase. And so this is where we honestly dropped the weight completely. Like we dropped it to lighter weight. We did 15 to 20 reps with tempo, right? So make sure time under tension. We were doing three seconds. So for example, three seconds down, one second up, right? Making sure that we had that control. Shorter rest periods, so 60 seconds. Um, so this is more of isolated, high volume training. So typically the bro splits that you see, um, honestly, bodybuilders do it as well because they're trying to basically um, just just taper out different parts. As you can see, his shoulders started to cap out. Um, his chest was getting a lot more defined and he was starting to see a lot more abs. Right. So we were focusing on specific body parts every day. Um, typically, he'd spend 45 minutes to an hour in the gym. Um, gave him a few rest days as well. Um, but essentially, that was specifically what we focused on for this aesthetic ascension to be able to get him to looking more aesthetic than he did with the fat that he lost as well. Right. So when it comes to nutrition, um, we increase his caloric intake, believe it or not, by 150 calories. Right. So we increased his carbs by 60 grams, kept his protein the same and dropped his fats by 10. And so the reasoning for this is because his metabolic rate significantly increased and he was getting hungrier and hungrier and hungrier. And what people don't realize is that you actually lose a lot more weight when you increase the food intake because your metabolic rate slowly increases because it's adjusting to the amount of food that you're eating. Right. When your body is in full starvation mode too consistently, it starts to hold whatever you have as fat because it does not know when the next time it's going to be fed is. Right. So that's why we made sure that we upped everything um, at the very end so that his body could come back and look fuller um, and, you know, his muscles could pop a lot more and he could look a lot better, which he does. Right. And as you can see, his style changed completely as well after the, the aesthetic ascension phase. And he started filling in his shirts, his shoulders started capping out a lot more, his, his waist was slimmer. Um, he was wearing a lot more like like tailored jeans. He had the haircut, everything. He looked completely different, right? So that is what the aesthetic ascension phase will do. And so we basically replenished him with, with carbs and his body did really well with that. Um, you know, had the protein stay the same as well. Um, and the fats went down with this as well, right? Just to make sure that we kept his um, caloric intake where we wanted it to be, target. And so that was just a quick summary of what we did with him. Um, obviously with recovery, we made sure that he slept seven to eight hours a day. Um, we gave him the supplement. So creatine, um, obviously whey isolate protein. We did, um, what else, what else, what else? We did fish oil as well. We did potassium. Um, we did magnesium, zinc, and um, 
iron. Uh, and then we allowed for him to choose the multivitamin of his choice. So the Jack protocol is really meant to me melt off unwanted body fat that's keeping you from looking shredded and rebuild your physique into a muscular aesthetic physique in 90 days or less. All right, so my, my client Hari couldn't be happier with the results that he had. He'd never looked like that in his life, right? Being proud of his physique when he looked in the mirror felt really, really good to him and he gained newfound confidence and is really now respected and complimented by his friends and family while, you know, maybe creating a little bit of jealousy in, in other people. Um, but the upsides of, of losing all of that, that fat um, and gaining the muscle got so overwhelming that he literally can't imagine stop stopping hitting the gym, right? Like he wants to go consistently now. It's a part of his routine. It's a lifestyle, which is what I wanted. The whole goal around this is to establish a lifestyle that you can never get away from. Um, and so that goes to show that there are no downsides of getting jacked and staying jacked for the rest of your life. And again, being jacked is subjective. It's based on your specific goals and where you want to get to and how you want to look and how confident you want to be. All right. So just as a caveat to that. And again, these are all natural transformations, no steroids used at all. Um, you know, as you can see, when other people have transformations, you will see a dramatic like physiognomy difference because of the the androgens that they're taking and things like that. So this is like fully natural. You can do this yourself. Um, or if you need help as well, you can get that um, and, and get the specific results that you want. Um, so now that you've seen the whole process, I do have an offer for you, right? Obviously, I'm going to have an offer for you. So if you're skinny fat, you're out of shape, you're overweight, you're not satisfied with the way that you look, and you're ready to make a change and get jacked to the best of your ability, the best that we can make you become and basically get prepared to be the to make the greatest transformation of your life. You're ready to look great in the mirror with your shirt off as well. Um, I'll help you one on one gain at least 10 pounds of lean muscle while losing 10 percent or more of body fat. Um, progress even further and learn how to keep it off in 90 days or less using the jacked protocol. Right. And I'll give you a full refund if it doesn't work out. If you're doing everything that I tell you to do and you still don't see any changes, you deserve a refund. Right. So that is my offer to you. And that concludes the end of this video. I hope that you learned a little bit more about the process and how you can implement it for yourself. Try this out. You may really like it and you'll probably see progress on your own. But if you really just need help with your current situation, hit the link in the description. Um, it's a one on one coaching call with me. Um, we go through your process and see if you'd be a good fit to start working with me and we can get you to looking the best that you can. Summer's around the corner, so you definitely probably want to jump on this. Um, probably taking about five to 10 more people um, in my coaching program. So you can be one of them if you do um, end up getting through the call and it makes sense to be able to work with with each other. Um, but other than that, sign up to the free email newsletter. Either way, um, you'll get a lot of gain from that as well. So a lot of different resources. I appreciate you for seeing this and, and jumping on this this video and listening to me and i will catch you on the next video this is this is very unlikely for me to do this but i like doing this so i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one